How's it going, people? This is your boy LP with Lorenzo P Photography. If you have not checked me, you should go do that. I have some amazing, amazing stuff on my website, ranging from art to photography. I'm sure there's something on the site that you would like. I can almost guarantee you. Today I came here because I wanted to show you guys a bit of a behind the scenes. I get a lot of questions on people asking me how you shoot, what do you shoot with, uh, you know, how's your setup? A whole slew of questions. And today, you know, I may not address all of uh, those questions, but uh, I want to show you guys uh, some of the stuff that I shoot with. Just run you guys uh, quickly through the setup. I didn't want to make the video too long. It's just kind of something brief to shed light on, you know, some of the things. Shooting with a 5D Mark II. Uh, I've been using this camera since 2009. It's been an absolute staple in my photography business. When I first made the purchase, I spent $4,000 on, on the camera and a 24 lens. Uh, and I had people tell me that I was crazy for spending that amount of money on a camera. Six years later, people are praising me by the work that I do. So, you know, this, this little guy right here that I spent all my savings on has brought me to a place that I would have never imagined. So yeah, I'm using a 5D Mark II, 70 to 200 millimeter lens. This is the 2.8 version. This is the latest version of the 70 to 200 millimeter lens. It is an absolute amazing lens. Uh, this is uh, my workhorse. It's mounted on my camera uh, majority of the times. I want to say uh, roughly around 95% of the time. Uh, and I really, really love the performance. This is one of Canon flagship lenses in my opinion. Um, I'm using the Young New Old YN622C wireless transceivers. Uh, these things are great. Um, it supports ETTL and high speed sync. Uh, set this to the side. Moving on to the next thing. I'm using a G2220 Gitto uh, tripod. This thing is amazing. It's solid. It's uh, the twist lock. It's just you know, slide it up, slide it down, and then you just lock in the leg. Great performer. Uh, this was actually a gift, believe it or not. Um, this tripod values are around $230 roughly. But uh, uh, this is the Avenger light stand with a, a boom pole. But uh, yeah, this thing is great. The reason why I wanted to invest in this because I knew I wanted to use a beauty dish. Most of the strobes that I did own, they were really heavy and none of the tripods could support the weight. So I wanted to look for something heavy duty that would give me the support that I needed to do stuff like this. Mount a 22 inch beauty dish with, with a strobe. I'll bring this down so you guys can check this out. But this is an Allen Chrome D4 Lite uh, 400 watt strobe. This thing is amazing. The reason why I wanted to invest in this because it was small and, and it was lightweight. Um, it's perfect for travel and uh, it does the job. Allen Chrome is, is amazing uh, with, with their products and this, this baby it, it really does the job, man. It's small, compact, and it really packs a punch. Once again, this is the 22 inch beauty dish. Moving along. This is a DIY homemade reflector. Uh, all it is is foam core, right? This is gift wrap paper. It's reflective gift wrap paper I picked up from Party City. This is a little trick that I like to use. And once again, like I said, people, I'm going to be introducing quick tips and review section on my blog. And this is one of the things that I'll be uh, showing you guys. The tip would be to give your model that punch uh, in, in their eyes. So yeah, look out for that. That'll be coming really soon. This is a Cowboy Studio. It's a heavy duty Cowboy Studio light stand. This is uh, the Photo Deox um, 400 watt uh, mono light. These things are pretty cool. It has a digital back, right? So you just flip that on and you control the power with this. So it's no dials, everything is digital, which is really cool. These things pack a punch as, as well. So I have two of these. These are cellophane papers, uh, considered gels. So yeah, another quick tip that I'll be uh, posting on the blog is to use cellophane paper and you wanna stack them up and put them in like the binder um, folder to really give them like that solid color. So yeah. Uh, just wanted to show you guys, and this is the backdrop, a savage yellow um, background, and uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I wanted to make the video quick. I really didn't want 
to do anything elaborate what i was using what i shoot with if you guys have any further questions on any of the things that i presented ask inbox me you can email me my email is o.com please no trollers if you troll me i will troll you back i promise you <laughs> but uh please guys uh like i said please continue to show love I, one thing that just gives me like the world is is the amount of support so i want to thank you guys um, please go check out my uh, work by visiting LorenzoPPhotography.com and, you know, show love, comment, you know, subscribe and uh, just continue. Thank you for listening to my ongoing blabber. I hope that uh, I shed light on some of the questions uh continuously have. And uh, thank you. Thank you for everything. Check your boy out. LorenzoPPhotography.com. Boom!